if you are a fan of improv comedy, you have probably heard of Whose Line Is It Anyway show. It was one of the best comedy shows on the TV. The best one on ABC, for sure. However, one installment of the show that I watched was undoubtedly creepy. Here's what you have known to understand my disturbance. Whose Line Is It Anyway first originated as a radio series in the United Kingdom before coming to TV in 1988, which lasted until 1998. It was a fake game show with a host and four contestants. There were several games in the show based on what the audience shouted. Contestants acted out an improved, improvised sketch until the host pressed the buzzer to stop the sketch. Then, the game, the next game began. Drew Carey was the host of the U.S. version from 1998 to 2007. All of the contestants had good relationships. Most notably, there was a friendship between Ryan and Colin and between Ryan and Drew. The host, keep it all in mind, 12 years ago, around 2001 or 2002, I was channel surfing, and occasionally switched to whose line. Drew was pressing the buzzer and laughing his butt off, the audience applauding and cheering, and the guy was standing on the stage, all four of them, smiling, some game had just finished, and I could have just missed some really great stuff. Drew's laughter was hysterical. That was where things went totally wrong. Drew just would not stop laughing. As the guy took their seats backstage, it was time for Drew to make another points-related joke and announce the next challenge. Instead, he just laughed and laughed until there was an awkward pause. The confused contestants began to look at each other. That was when Ryan began to act strangely. He was just staring at Drew, observing him emotionlessly. He was hypnotized or frightened. It was really creepy. Drew started to cough severely. He rose from his desk and tried to go somewhere. And suddenly fell over, face down, on the stage. The audience was silent. I do not want to know why. The camera focused on Drew. Occasionally, the guys... I think it was shock. Because I felt it while watching. What the hell? Why would they do the... Why would they show such a thing? What is going on here? When Drew fell over, all the guys jumped up from their seats, all except for Ryan. Instead of helping, he cringed and sat back while still staring at agonizing Drew. It was very unlikely for a friend to act like this. It appeared that he did not even care about Drew's health. Wayne was holding Drew while Colin slapped him, slept on his back. Brad poured a glass of water for Drew. Do you need any help? Somebody shouted. I think it was from the audience. Nobody bothered to respond, though. The cast was talked to each other, visibly concerned about the whole mess. You could not figure out a single word. The microphones must have been switched off for some reason or whatever. I do not know. Khaled said something to Ryan. Maybe he even shouted it. Ryan did not answer. He just shook his head and shrank back even more. I watched, freaked out. Why would they show us something, somebody choking nearly to death during prime time? Is this supposed to be funny routine? I'm not a kind of person who complains about TV stuff and writes protest letters. But this 
was the case just for it? Are they out of their mind? Drew was still trying to clear his throat. Suddenly, he caught blood. Fuck! Shouted somebody loudly. It could... I think it could be someone from the crew. Maybe Dan Patterson, the producer. Suddenly confused. The program was very usually censored, so was this an unedited, filmed live? Why would they broadcast it? I had no idea. This lasted for about another 10 minutes. Nobody came in. Nobody tried to resolve the problem. Laura Hal, the musician, was not present at the piano. However, uh, she usually she usually was not there during the Manon musical rounds. So the last game must have been one of those. At the end, Drew was not showing any signs of life or typical signs of death. Still, it was an immersion immensely creepy. The broadcast was abruptly interrupted for a commercial break. After another whose line began episode began without any oddities in it whatsoever though so there you have it as far as i know nobody mentioned about the incident in mass media or internet forums the show was canceled in 2005 but drew carey is still hosting a couple of tv shows he is safe and sound and is still a friend of ryan styles i watched all of the episodes of the show on YouTube, but never saw the, the, that particular one again. In one occasion, Drew had choked from water, but was quickly revived. The whole thing took less than a minute, and Ryan was really caring about Drew this time. As well as some Ryan hoedowns, like, I'll have my own show, then when I'll murder Drew Carey. It became very creepy for me. However... That is basically all I know noticed. I still cannot make my mind about what it was.